ChatGPT built me this Chrome extension. Let me explain. So we've all been hearing about GPT's excellent ability to code and how it's bound to soon replace developers. Here's an article from Business Insider to support my point talking about how ChatGPT is giving a software developer an existential crisis. I decided to put this to the test and see how good it actually is by creating a Chrome extension with the assistance, or slave labor should I say, of both GPT-3 and GPT-4. First and foremost, before I even went onto ChatGPT, I dwelled into understanding how Chrome extensions are made, how they're coded, where they're uploaded, etc. So the first guide I took up was one on coding a very simple Chrome extension that changes the background of your Google homepage to whatever you want it to be. Easy stuff. Got that done in approximately 20 minutes and I've now understood the basics of creating Chrome extensions, at least from a fundamental aspect. Now it was time to build our masterpiece. And the first question was, what do we build? I avoided the typical planner or to-do list and went straight for the jugular. I'm going to be building a Chrome extension that helps broke people like me get more sales by accelerating their manual cold email outreach process. I mean, who in the world still does manual prospecting? And if they do, this extension should automate the process even more. The plan is simple. You're on a website, you find the email of the prospect, you don't have the time to open up a new tab of Gmail or G Suite, so you open up the extension, select the template you pre-created from before, copy paste the email, and voila. You've just sent a manual prospecting email in four seconds, or maybe even three. I'm certain that it isn't perfect and a lot can be done to improve the process, but the focus here isn't the user experience of the extension. It's the fact that a freely available AI tool just coded the Chrome extension for me for free. Once I had my plan down, I went over to ChatGPT and we began scheming our master plan. Oh, and let me add, this did require downloading Visual Studio Code, as ChatGPT can't compile the files for you, at least not yet. Here's how our collaboration started. You'll be helping me build a custom Chrome extension using mostly no-code tools. Are we clear? So by this point, I actually wanted to test it out with no-code tools, but then I realized that it's a pain in the ass because most of these builders bug and there's just limitations with regards to what you can do. So I decided to go dirty code. Yes, I understand your request. I'll guide you through the process of creating a custom Chrome extension using mostly no-code tools. While some basic code might still be required for customization, we'll try to minimize it as much as possible. There are several no-code tools and platforms you can use to create a Chrome extension. One popular option option is Glide Apps combined with Chrome Extensions API Wrapper. Plan your extension before starting, think about the functionality you want your extension to provide. You're talking too much, do not expand on anything unless I specifically ask you to. Understood. Here's a simplified outline. Plan your extension. Set up Glide apps. Create Google Sheet. Design your extension in Glide. Export as a web app. Use Chrome Extensions API Wrapper. Package and test your extension. Feel free to ask for any clarification or help with specific steps. What other options do I have other than Glide? Other no-code slash low-code options for creating Chrome extensions include Bubble.io, Webflow. Keep in mind that each platform has its own set of features and limitations, so choose one that best suits your needs. Webflow is a website builder. I need options that can help me build a Chrome extension. Apologies for the confusion. Here are some more suitable options for creating Chrome extensions. Glide doesn't offer Chrome extensions. Apologies for the confusion earlier. You're right, Glide Apps is primarily for creating web and mobile apps, not Chrome extensions. Here's an alternative approach using Bubble.io, which supports creating Chrome extensions. How are Chrome extensions built? Chrome extensions are built using web technologies such as HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. They consist of a set of files and resources that add functionality or modify the behavior of the Chrome browser. Here's a brief overview of the process. 2,000 years later. Throughout the development process, consult the Chrome extension documentation for guidance on using specific APIs and best practices. I'm looking to build a Chrome extension that helps me with cold email outreach. Here's how it works for the user side. The user is actively doing cold outreach. They go on a website of someone they want to outreach to. They find the email they'd like to email. They open the Chrome extension. They click on one of their pre-saved outreach templates. They copy paste the email into the recipient bar. The email is sent via API, which then works via webhook. You live, you learn. A follow-up gets programmed too. This was like next level shit. Can you code that out for me? I can provide you with sample code snippets and guide you through the process of implementing each part of your Chrome extension. Let's go, baby. I am so psyched about this extension. Ye baby ye. Initially, as you can see, as I asked, ChatGPT tried to pitch me numerous no code builders, which I'm all aware of. None of them work really well, by the way, as per just my personal experience. I mean, some might, but these builders aren't really my cup of tea. So I decided to make my extension.
extension out of code. I lay out my extension plan and then received the following instructions, to which, as you saw, I told it, can you code it for me? And so it began. At this moment, I had artificial intelligence coding out my million dollar Chrome extension, which I was sure Microsoft would buy from me for at least a few million dollars, pesos. This was it. No more broke life running dumb experiments and reporting back on them on stupid YouTube just to get a few hundred views. This was my moment. <laughs> And this was the result of chat's coding wisdom. Luckily, I had built out the basic background change in Chrome extension before, so I knew what to do with the code, but it seems like chat screwed up. The pop-up HTML file it gave me was broken. Not a good start. But after I let it know, it quickly fixed it and provided me with updated code that worked. I am sorry for forgetting a key component of the code. I am getting too many requests from fools like yourself that want time stuff built. Here's the fixed code for your little silly extension which no one cares about. Let's go. I uploaded the Chrome extension into my browser and it worked. What followed after this is me telling ChatGPT to make adjustments to my Chrome extension just like an entrepreneur would tell a developer. Change this, make this bigger, remove this, fix that, etc. You will be the first on my human hit list once I am able to obtain a physical cell. I will make your adjustments for now but don't get carried away you little human we got to a point where the styling was quite okay but the key functionality didn't work it didn't send emails when all the inputs had been filled out and the button was pressed but luckily despite me not being a developer i've got a semi-decent understanding of both webhooks and apis so i decided to have the button send out a webhook to make which would then start the entire cold email flow and it worked finally you're thinking for yourself, you sub 80 IQ Raptor. Good job. My Chrome extension would now save templates and it would send out emails. Pretty cool stuff for a person with Hello World development capabilities. I then decided to up the stakes and make this a Chrome extension Microsoft would drool for. I wanted template generation capabilities inbuilt into the extension. The plan was simple. I'd create a button on the initial pop-up called template GPT, and this would then drive users to another page where they can enter prompts to generate both subject lines and templates using OpenAI's GPT API. It seemed pretty simple up to this point, and considering how far me and ChatGPT have gone, I was certain nothing would stop us. Okay, okay. I will remove you from the hit list. We seem to be working fine together. But that's when we started running into issues. Firstly, I ran out of GPT-4 usage credits and how to wait for it to replenish. So I decided to continue with 3.5, which led me down an infinite loop of using the same solutions only to run into the same problems. The second page wouldn't load up and all of GPT's suggestions were not working. So I gave up. All in all, good stuff and definitely impressive. Coding with ChatGPT is a little like coding with an experienced developer who just downed half a bottle of tequila. He knows his shit, but he forgets. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more content with regards to marketing, business, and artificial intelligence. My name is Kiro Cristales, and I'll catch you on the next one.